Hey there, everyone. This is the ARH, an ideal plow for sloping terrain, as it does not need to open or close the frames for plowing. It has multiple adjustments on the discs, such as height, rotation, and inclination, ensuring the best adjustment for each type of soil. It is available in versions of three to five discs, light with 550 millimeter spacing or heavy with spacing of 610 millimeters. Now for some important technical information. Frame. Reversible frame. Reversing piston. Guide wheel adjuster. Disc. Support. Cleaner. Guide wheel. Disc support. To facilitate transport, this plow leaves the factory semi-assembled. It will only be necessary to mount the discs to make it ready for use. Attach discs to hubs. Repeat the operation for all discs. Insert the cleaners into the plow holder. Pitch the plow to the tractor in a safe and easily accessible place. Check if the tractor is equipped with a set of front counterweights. Ballast the wheels, as per tractor manual specifications. Remove or move the drawbar so that it does not interfere with the disc during reversal. With the aid of the height adjustment lever, hitch the lower right arm of the tractor on the hitch pin of the plow. Couple the third point of the tractor to the plow support. Engage the tractor's left lower arm on the hitch pin. Couple the hoses to the tractor quick coupler. to center the plow in relation to the longitudinal axis of the tractor. Through the stabilizers, align the top hitch of the plow with the third point of the tractor. The distances of the hydraulic lower arms in relation to the tractor tires must be equivalent. To level the plow in the transverse direction, width, level the plow using the tractor's hydraulic hitch lower right arm crank in the longitudinal direction, length. Level the plow through the third point arm of the tractor. Note the front disc of the plow. It should be two to three centimeters above ground level. Lubricate the points indicated in the instruction manual. And now it's ready. See how the plow arrives and how it should look after assembly.
Now, let's see some adjustment possibilities that the plow has. Make the adjustment of the cutting depth of the plow in the tractor hydraulic system. If you can't get the depth desired in this way, adjust the guide spring pressure by turning the lever. The nut releases the wheel to touch the ground. Adjust the cutting width using the screw. Slide it out to increase the width. For uniform plowing, keep the same distance between the screw head and the abutment face on both sides. Adjust the cutting angle of the discs using the screws. Squeeze to decrease the angle, allowing for greater penetration of the discs. In terrains that make it difficult for the earth to toil, increase the cutting angle by loosening the screw. Adjust the inclination of the discs through the hole in the hub support. To increase or decrease depth, place discs in positions as needed. Here are some important tips for prolonging the life of your ARH. The ARH has the following option. Just take a look. Hydraulic Piston Reversal System for ARHL. Always talk to a Balden dealer about your needs and working conditions. Your plow is unique so it's important to keep your identification visible for any consultation, okay? The nameplate has model, serial number, manufacturing date, in addition to a QR code, which if scanned, leads directly to the instruction manual, parts catalog, and this video. Oh, and so that no one is left without information, the ARH comes with a printed version of the manual that comes along with its invoice. Until next time, everyone, 